Hi, my name is Dashita, and I'm very excited today to talk about FAPO, a system for integrating fabrication with the player's gameplay in existing digital games. Imagine if we could fabricate physical versions of digital objects from our gameplays. For example, when you capture a game character, you can fabricate its physical collectible, like this Pokemon, or when you acquire a game object, you can fabricate it to use it as a game controller like the sword. Fabo's framework allows fabrication of such creative objects by auto-generating the fabrication files from various digital games. The main contribution of Fabo's framework is that it uses on-screen visual content to achieve this. There are two main benefits of using on-screen visual content. First, it allows us to tag moments within a player's gameplay without needing access to the game's source code. Instead, it uses visual cues such as text or images that appear on screen. Second, it auto-generates 2D fabrication files in real time without needing access to the game's asset files. Instead, it uses object extraction on the game's digital objects. Thus, we can now tap the potential of fabricating objects from a variety of existing games played around the world. We implemented this framework in the Fabo Toolkit that has two parts, a designer interface used by designers to tag visual cues in the gameplay uh, to integrate fabrication, and the player interface used by players to monitor their gameplay, detect the tagged visual cues, and auto-generate the fabrication files from game objects. Here's a demo of the interfaces. Let's say the designer wants her player to fabricate a Pikachu collectible when they catch one in the game Pokemon Let's Go. To achieve this, the designer first sources a video of the gameplay either from online or records her own. When the desired event occurs in the video, she uses the designer interface to import the scene's screenshot and tag the associated visual cues such as this text cue that says you have encountered a Pikachu or the image cue of Pikachu itself. She then chooses the object, object to fabricate from the scene, for example, this Pikachu figure, either by choosing it herself, letting her players choose, or linking an external fabrication file. After setting the features and generating the event file, she finally saves and exports the event file. On the player side, they use the player interface to first import the events file, click on start scanning, and then continue playing the game. Fabo's player interface scans their screen during the gameplay, looking for the tagged visual cues. When a tagged cue is identified, for example, this tagged text cue, the player is notified that a fabrication event is encountered. At this time, the players can either pause playing to fabricate the object or continue playing and fabricate at the end of the gameplay. For fabrication from the player's interface, the player can access the auto-generated SVG files and fine-tune them for 2D fabrication. Please refer to the paper for more details and additional features and implementation. We then conducted a user study to evaluate how Fabo generalizes for different games. In the study, 12 participants altogether tested 35 games of their choice across several genres such as action, adventure, etc. They altogether embedded 47 events of fabricating game objects, some of which are shown here. For example, this custom design dress from the game Animal Planet and this personalized skateboard from the game Tony Hawk. Feedback from the user study also gave us insight on the strategies for integrating fabrication with gameplays. For example, we discovered that carefully choosing timing of introducing the fabrication event within the gameplay was crucial so that it couldn't distract the players or interrupt their game. Typically, these moments were at the start or the end of the game or at moments of natural pause, such as when players access their inventory or encounter a new character. We also conducted a second user study to evaluate the player's experience of using Fabo. In this study, 12 participants played the game Pokemon Planet and remotely controlled a paper cutter to fabricate objects such as these Pokeballs and Pokemons from their games. Our results show that while most participants enjoyed the experience of fabricating objects from their games, some also wanted more control over choosing the objects and the timing of fabrication. I invite you to read the paper for more details and its insights from our studies. In future, we would like to add additional features to Fabo, such as fabricating 3D objects from the gameplay and also test its application in educational and social gaming purposes. If you're interested in this work, please reach out to me or visit my website. I now look forward to the discussion and I'm happy to take questions. Thank you.